Good morning treasure diving fans. Now, today is very important. Today, we're going diving. Right, today's gonna be the first day that we take out the new dive boat. Yay! So here's the uh, Treasure Divers HQ van, and we're all ready to go. Got three bottles here, each of them have got some air in. Uh, got all our gear, all my gear. This bag here is going to be like a grab bag. A new bag, um, and we've got all the essentials like a ship to shore radio, a safety knife, uh, first aid kit, um, we've got everything in there that we need for the boat, so uh, I've got a checklist as well with contact numbers, the channels for emergencies, all that kind of stuff, so I'll go and get that now actually. I left it for my mum to laminate, so hopefully I'll go around now and see if she's done it. Alright, and it's as if by magic, <clears throat> here's the checklist, all laminated. Um, so it's got our call sign on, which is going to be TD1, uh, Tango Delta 1. <coughs> um, and uh, the yellow bag containing radio, anchor and rope and chain, rescue boy, plus line, pair of oars, first aid kit, bottle of water, a mooring line, spare shackles and a safety knife. All those things are in that bag. And then we've got the emergency contacts, so Lou Harbour Master, we'll be launching from Lou. Um, their telephone number, landline, their mobile number, their channel, which is 14. Uh, obviously the emergency radio channel, which is 16. And uh, emergency telephone number if our mobiles work, so it's 999 as normal, and ask for the Coast Guard. So, well, that'll be kept in the bag all the time. So here's the new ladder. I won't won't keep it in the back of the boat because you know it'll just be bouncing up and down it'll scratch all the deck and everything so uh, keep it in the back of here until we get there and there's a new prop shaft as well that's got to go on the uh, on the van when I get a minute welcome to Kerno. there you go we're, we're in that's Cornish for Cornwall Right YouTubers, so we've arrived, we're down in the loo and we've just arrived at the slipway. We've popped, popped her in the water and she's still standing. Here's our magnificent trailer, all nice and wet. And uh, we've got a parking space. I mean, everyone's got a trailer on the back, look. This area is specifically for uh, people with boats to park the, the vehicle and the trailer, so. But uh, there she is in the water anyway. Just down there. Hey YouTubers! Right, first time in the boat. First time with this engine on. And uh, running very well. It's actually quite responsive. I can't open it up yet because we're in a speed limit. Right viewers, we've had a catastrophe, didn't get it on camera, but so I jumped in and uh, was just going to try the ladder out, so basically not even got any kit on, it's just got me dry suit on, that's it, and uh, yeah, climbed up the ladder and then uh, 
because the wind, the wind, a wave sort of took me backwards, and uh, I was holding onto the ladder, and it just ripped it straight out. It's actually a bit choppy here. If I can see this, so yeah, it's just ripped the GRP straight out. Ah, oh dear. Luckily, Wayne was in the boat, and. Uh, he stopped, um, we had a rope around the end of it, so he stopped it from smacking me on the head, knocking me out in the water, uh, which would have been uh, pretty serious. Uh, so that was all right. Uh, back to the drawing board. Still gonna get a dive in. Wayne's gone in, just for a snorkel. Uh, well, there's his arm anyway. Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna get kitted up anyway and go in and uh, I managed to get out again anyway, but well, with Wayne's help, he was in the boat, so he he uh, leant over and uh, grabbed my arm and pulled me in. So, uh, but yeah, back to the drawing board. Still, we're uh, we're in a nice little spot, we're in a nice little cove here. We just uh, anchored off here just to uh, try all the equipment out, really, and try the, the ladder out before we went out further out to sea. Whoa! It's really getting rocky now. Yeah, anyway. Oof. A little engine went alright. Uh, you know, obviously she's, uh, you know, she's underpowered, but uh, she chugged along anyway. I've, uh, while I was in the water, I adjusted the trim. Uh, so hopefully that might make a difference. You what, mate? Your phone messaging. Phone messaging, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just catching up on me. Just catching up on me uh, voicemails, mate. You want to come in? Yeah, I won't mind, mate. All right. Right, viewers. I'm just going to put the phone down. Phone. I'm going to put the camera down because I'm going to help Wayne get back in. Oh, jellyfish! Look. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. I'm going down.
All right, well, what can I say? It's a bit of a disaster. Uh, you'll see by the footage that I did go in, but uh, it was pretty, it was really rough down there. There's a lot of current, and uh, I was hanging on for dear life down the shot line, and uh, had trouble equalising as well because I haven't been out for a while. So I get the old pressure building up, and uh, that was murky. Uh, but yeah, had a dive. Um, the uh, the boat was great. I can't fault the boat really, uh, and the trailer. Engines underpowered, obviously. Unfortunately, the new Super Duper dive ladder Mark II is a uh, total dog toffee. It's uh, just ripped straight out of there. So uh, there you go. Got plan B, plan C. On to plan C now. Could do a bigger boat as well. They seem to fill it with all this stuff, don't we? Yeah. You can't walk around in there because you've no, got all this stuff in real. Like um, but yeah. Slipway is great as usual. Uh, brilliant slip here at Lou. Um, parking's right there and it's dedicated for the people with trailers, so it's brilliant. Um, it was only £4 for like several hours, wasn't it? I can't yeah. remember how many hours, but long enough for us. So. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, get the light board back on, and uh, yeah, I could do with a 60 horsepower outboard on the back, and then we'd be laughing. To be honest, I think that's about our only problem, isn't it? Really, mm. and we've got so this this ladder situation. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'll think about it anyway. Yeah, I mean, dry suit leaks as well, got soaking wet. So. Completely soaked, usually you just get a little bit of damp patch on the chest or something, but completely everything, all my uh, under, my because I was wearing uh, thermal underwear and that all got soaking wet. So I'm just trying to dry off now in my uh, shorts and uh, and, a t and the t-shirt, I was wearing this underneath as well, so I've got to try and dry this out. But. Uh, Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Treasure Divers, and uh, unfortunately it uh, didn't go according to plan. But uh, we'll get there in the end. So, oh, my thanks to uh, Tim S, who uh, has spent a lot of time. Well, first of all, he's he's running the web, the uh, Facebook page, which is fantastic. Um, so thank you for that. But also, he is um, he's working out. Uh, he's plotting where the album are probably is lying now he's working out yeah so tim is working out old tide cycles and all kinds of stuff like that to uh, try and plot where the debris or the actual uh, vessel would have sunk so that's really exciting um, and hopefully he's going to come down and join us soon as well for a dive so he's up he's up in somewhere else in the country so uh, so thanks for your help tim on that and i uh, hope to uh, see you down here soon Anyway, meanwhile, thanks for watching Treasure Divers and uh, catch you next time.